Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie, and today I'm going to be doing your daily reading for today, Wednesday, the 20th, full moon time. How are you feeling? Intense energies, intense energies. So let's see what the cards have for the Pisces Collective. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates with you, as always. Let's see what shows up for this full moon. My loves, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining us. If you would like to subscribe, I would personally love to have you here. So if you resonate, go ahead. And for all current subscribers, I love you. Thank you for everything. All right. Page of Cups. Okay, first card showing up here. And I'm getting it kind of with the energy of the Knight of Cups, honestly. A very humble, sweet, and kind offer of love. Coming in, a message of love. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy at this time. You could also be experiencing within yourself a very naive, sweet, and pure message or, or sensation of love. That kind of feeling that maybe you would feel when you were a teenager, that kind of like butterflies and just a very sweet, innocent kind of love. Some of you may be in connection to that specific energy at this time. In the recent past, we see here that you've been focusing on keeping your balance. You've been perhaps focusing on your healing. Um, you have been recently trying to be patient with your emotions, with the depths of the healing that maybe you're exposed to. Or you have been exposed to at this time. In the recent past, you may have dealt with a Sagittarius. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. I don't read reversals unless I really feel inclined to, like an intuitive message. So this one, the lovers here, is bringing in this energy this lightheartedness again is what I'm getting. I'm looking at the video here while it's recording. It looks kind of dark, but I don't really know. Uh oh, there you go. Wow, it hurt me. <laughs> See, it kind of gets kind of dark. I wonder why. Oh, there you go. Mm, okay. <laughs> kind of strange. Anyway, um, right now, Pisces. With the King of Swords in your challenge position, this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that could be in some shape or form creating a challenge for you, representing a resistance or an obstacle. Now, if that's not the case, then you could be having a little bit of a hard time being objective, perhaps because of this very innocent, sweet love. And when I talk about this love, I don't necessarily talk about romance. I mean, it could be for many of you, absolutely. But it's also kind of like a take on life. Like a very sweet, almost opening your eyes to the possibilities for the first time. Maybe coming from a perspective of having a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and just healing that, releasing that. And coming into a space in which everything feels more vibrant, everything looks more colorful, everything is very sweet. So you may be sort of swept by this energy, which will be feeling amazing. But it could potentially affect your discernment and your decision making. Okay, so, I mean, keep doing what you have to do, Pisces. Don't let yourself be swept away from all of your responsibilities. <laughs> Don't let yourself get too distracted here. Amethyst could be very helpful for you to get kind of grounded at this time. So keeping amethyst crystals around you wouldn't be the worst idea. 
in the future celebration, happiness, fun. It's like you're waking up to a part of you that has been dormant in which there is this thirst for life and enjoyment. Maybe you have been all about work, 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 Pisces. Recently, work, healing, work, healing, resting, feeling drained. And now it's like, you know what? What what am I working so hard for if I'm not enjoying? Maybe my money or maybe my time, my free time, maybe my schedule, maybe um, my friends, my family. It seems like you're going to be pulled into social connections a whole lot more. And in the future, maybe you're going to be going out, celebrating, celebrating either birthdays, weddings, baby showers, you name it, whatever. <laughs> um, but social events. Very happily, too. In your mind space, you have the higher fans here. Letting me know that some of you could be thinking about a Taurus person, maybe. Others of you could be thinking about spiritual wisdom and taking your wisdom to a higher level by going deeper, if that makes sense. Going deeper into yourself. Some of you could be um, dealing with like banks, loans, hospitals, schools, government stuff. Could be the case. Some of you could have some of that in your mind space. Rainbows and sunshine is what I'm hearing. Rainbows and sunshine. I mean, this deck is very rainbows and sunshine. <laughs> it's unicorns and crystals. And as you can see here, I have selected specifically the Halloween decks. Because I wanted to focus on that. Halloween is around the corner. You know, this month is flying by. And I want to really make the most out of those decks. However, this one has nothing to do with Halloween. And I felt incredibly inclined to use it for this reading. So, rainbows and sunshine. Rainbows and sunshine. Ace of Pentacles representing you. A brand new beginning in the physical world. A new breath of excitement for your life, a breath of fresh air for your body, lots of wisdom, lessons learned in your mind. In your environment, you may have an Aries who's obsessed with you, Pisces, obsessed with you. This could be like a fan, <laughs> this could be a friend, someone in your work. You don't, you're not aware of it. You're not aware of how they feel about you, but they are obsessed. It's like they're your number one fan. So if you have any kind of like account, if you're some kind of public figure, if you have a channel, if you have social media, whatever it is, there is someone who's like obsessed in a good way. Kind of like those kind of fans that follow every single step and read every single post and enjoy every single video and they're just on top of everything. Really cool. Really cool energy too. In your hopes and fears, well, I think that you are being definitely influenced by this sensation of love and openness and serenity, surrender to the beauty. But at the same time, there could be a part of you that's like, well, I hope that this, you know, I hope that I'm taking my brain with me. I hope that I'm not making super stupid decisions that later I'm going to regret. Because you may be making decisions um, that are made purely because you would enjoy the experience. Decisions made towards your happiness, just for happiness sake. And Pisces, I feel like maybe you haven't done that in a while, honestly. I feel like you have been perhaps more focused on your responsibilities to-do lists, commitments. I do get a sense that you have been very focused on yourself and improving yourself, but not necessarily through joy. More through kind of like that Saturnian energy, right? So I think that you're going to be walking away from a, a dry land, it seems. Like you're walking away through, sorry, land. It's like 
the the unicorn here was inside the water. Water represents deep emotion, healing, um, very deep subconscious stuff. So that's kind of like what you have been in, I think. And then walking over the earth and moving on perhaps from the deep waters and moving into some more practical um, aspects of life. Seems like you're going to be walking away from something. It seems like you have already walked away from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But they continue to watch you or pay attention to you even though you have walked away. Because you're ready. You're walking away towards your Four of Wands. This is a card of celebration as well. Celebration, happiness, marriage, success, joy. Steady Foundations, Happily Ever After card, according to me. And you're going to be feeling so absolutely proud of yourself. So proud of yourself. So happy for the decisions that have been made. I feel like now you get to actually enjoy what you have been working so hard on, Pisces. And I think that maybe with these retrogrades that have, you know, happened recently, maybe for the last past five months or six months or something you have been really kind of grinding kind of really working really finding it within you to persevere and i think that now it's like time to celebrate time to stop i mean continue to do what you need to do of course obviously but stop the intense pursuit the stressful pursuit and enjoy Enjoy. <laughs> Just enjoy. There is money coming in and an injection to your social life and interaction. So if you have been kind of hermity, that may change, but don't be afraid because it seems like you're the one that's gonna be making that um that making that happen. So it's not like you're gonna have to socialize. <laughs> um you're gonna want to. All right, let's pull one Halloween Oracle card here. <clears throat> what is the most relevant message for Pisces? Oh, we have the Emperor in your environment. So that could be the Aries full moon as well energy. Sorry, spirit, I didn't catch your message at the time. Sorry. There it is. <laughs> You're like, you forgot something. Spider. Community and web weaving. See? Immunity. Social interactions. Pisces becoming a part of something. I'm so antisocial. I see that and it's just like, ugh. <laughs> Except for my Pisces and Scorpios. I love my internet communities, but I'm not that great with interactions. Like, in person. Alright, so, this is the message. She spins her silk alone, in the dark with hope of collection. Sticky with dreams, weaving the world a wide web of connection. Masses of sticky spider webs make any Halloween decoration complete. The idea of a haunted house covered in the artwork of a big hairy spider is classic horror. Even those of us who appreciate our eight-legged friends still hurriedly brush off those stealthy webs if we run into them in the dark. Although most spiders are not venomous, humans have innate fear of them. Perhaps it's the fangs or the poison, perhaps it's all of those legs, the way they move, perhaps it's where they live, often in the dark, hidden places. Or the way our Western popular culture, culture has demolished them by making them giant, fierce, and man-eating. Not to mention that they have a ton of eyes. They kind of skip that. <laughs> I find that to be a little freaky. I don't know if all of them have a bunch of eyes, but I think they do. I don't know. Some cultures, though, revere the spider in many positive ways. In many Native American traditions, for example, the spider is a creature that gives birth to all other animals and sustains the web of life. The goddess spider grandmother, and there is also the spider woman, is a key deity 
deity that brings wisdom, safety, and communication to all the tribes. She created and wove all the stars in the sky and makes soft webs for those that are troubled to rest upon and be supported by. Aww. That's sweet. I like that. Spiders' webs can be seen as a symbol of connection, not necessarily entrapment. There is a fine line sometimes between family or community supporting us and controlling us. This card looks at this discernment. It also suggests you review the way you communicate with the wider community, at work or generally with others, and take steps to improve this or do it slightly differently. It also indicates that there needs to be a balance between what you do for yourself and what you do for others. If we give too much to the outside, our strength diminishes, and we cannot weave the supporting web for ourselves. Huh, okay. I kind of went into that oracle message quite superficially, and I feel like I've been kind of like enlightened by it. <laughs> I really do feel that way. All right, Pisces, so it seems like we're stepping a little bit out of our hermit mode. What do you think about that? Is that something that feels authentic to you? Is that something that you have already been doing? Pisces, let me know in the comment section below. I remind you, I'm offering personalized readings at this time. They are expensive, $250 per 45 minutes to an hour 15. I know they're expensive. You don't have to tell me that they're expensive and complain. <laughs> this is not for everybody. It is for those of you who really feel called to work one-on-one -on -one with me. And um, you can ask three specific questions. We go in depth into each one of them. I am currently trying to do five readings at a time, kind of like booking five readings at a time. So if you write to us at the email and you don't receive answer within a day, two days, three days, know that we have received your email, but we're going to write back to you as soon as there's a spot open, okay? It usually takes, you know, a couple of days or something. So don't get discouraged. Don't think that we didn't find your message. We will answer you. Trust me. We have everybody right there. <laughs> Everything's super organized thanks to Dorsa. So yeah, the email in which you can book is hello at awakenedwildchild.com. Hello at awakenedwildchild.com. Yeah. Also, well, you know, I'm going to leave all the relevant information with all of our products, our online courses, meditations, everything in the description box below. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.